Hi. In this lesson, we will learn how to add an action button inside the Google Sheet. Then we will learn how to transfer or migrate the data from one sheet to another. In this very basic sample, we have an invoice where I can type a customer ID. Let's say this bill is for Mohsin Hassan, and this bill number is 100, and he buy some items. So now the bill is ready, uh, the bill um, total amount is 13,500. If I click here, three action will happen. The bill now is cleared. The summary is in the summary sheet. So this bill, number 100, is for Mohsin with this amount. And the detail of the bill was copied to this sheet. Let's, uh, let us start uh, from scratch. Uh, this invoice actually is a Microsoft template, so if you search for invoice in any Excel, uh, you will find a simple invoice. You can use any one, but I will use this one. I will save this one and I'll, I will upload to the Google Drive. Once we upload the file, uh, it is still an Excel file. So we need to convert it to a Google Sheet file. So after you open, you have to save as Google Sheet from file. Save as a Google Sheet. But take care, if you do this action, you will end with two files. One of them is Excel and the other is Google Sheet. We don't need the Excel one, so I'm going to remove. We will work with the Google Sheet file. This invoice, uh, I need two other sheets, one for the summary and another for the details. I need to identify which information I need to copy. I need the invoice bill number. Oh, sorry, I need the bill number, yes, invoice number. I need the customer name and the total. So in the summary sheet, let's say I need the invoice number I need the customer name and I need the total we need to identify which cell in the invoice refer to which information so the invoice number is in cell G4 and the customer name is in C4 and the total is in G26. So just to remind myself, we need G4 here, and we need C4 here, and we need G26 here. So let's start by doing the summary, then we will do the details. So, so from tools, we will go to the script editor. This project is attached to the file, so any function you will write in this project will be available inside the file because you open this project uh, from the tool. So the parent for this project is the SUTube Google Sheet file. I'm, I'm going to rename this one as code transfer. This is the name for the project. And I have to rename my function. That's my function. I name it as uh, start action any name you can name something you uh, easily identify okay now i need to carry uh, the file the google sheet file i need to carry uh, each sheet so i'm going to create three or four constant variable one of them to refer to the file this is just a name you can use any name it will take a spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet this one required a method, so you have to open a bracket and close it. Then you will take this file to point to each sheet. So I create a name, just a name. This invoice name is a file, get sheet by name. The sheet name is invoice. I have to make sure that the name here is exactly the name in uh, the code. 
Now I have four variables I can use to manipulate my file. Now I need to copy uh, the variable from. Now I need to copy the value from uh, G4, C4, and G26. So I need to create three variables. One to carry is a bill number by going to the invoice and get range G4 and another variable to carry the customer by going to invoice and get range C4 and one for the total same by going to invoice get range G26 customer make sure that here you have two codes for each name here we have only one code it's a syntax that we cannot modify now I need to append the same information in a new row in the summary sheet so I will go to the summary append row I will append the bill number let's move this one uh, a bin row requires an array, so I have to use a square brackets, bin number, customer, and uh, total. Now, if I run this code, I'm supposed to get the value. Yeah, now it will ask me for a permission first, sorry. This file requires a permission to write uh, in my Excel file, so I give it a permission to do so. Now the code completely, and you have range, range, range. Yeah, we have one mistake in the code. Here we have a dot get value. dot get value I refer to the range but I didn't take the value so get value now let's try again now the code is working fine let's try to add some information here this bill is for Ahmed Ali Invoice number is 100 and he buy 10 by 20 so his bill is 2000 so if I run if I go to the summary so Ahmed Ali bill number 100 total is 2000 we can clear all this okay but I don't uh, like the code to be run uh, from the project window from the script window uh, I need to add a button here. So how to add a button? To add a button, uh, I'm going to insert drawing. Drawing is a Google object. And size drawing, I'm going to add a picture by search. Or if you have a picture, you can upload button. Okay, I will use this one. Select. Okay, save and close. Now let us adjust uh, this one. Just the size and the position. Of course, you can type something like click here if you, if you wanted to. Anyway, here we have a helper. From this helper, you can assign a script. Now I take my function name copy and paste it in assign script window. Now this button, let's change the information. No summary is cleared. And now the information is copied into a new room. If I change it to something different. Here we have another invoice for Yasser with a different amount. Now how to get the details, how to copy the details from the invoice and send it to 
the third sheet. Uh, in the third sheet, I need the invoice number. And I need um, description, quantity, unit price, discount. So I need to copy the range starting from B9 till F20. So I will go back to my code. But before that, I need to take the invoice number in the first column. Uh, so I'm going to append the, the pin number. So I go to the code. I'll go to details worksheet. I'm going to append row with only one information, which is the bill number. Now, if I run the code, I have the bill number here. I have the bill summary. Now I need. Uh, the details below the bill number. Uh, how to copy a range? I'm going to create a variable. Let's say ready to copy. This variable will go to the invoice sheet and get range starting from P9 tell F20 this range which is ready to copy I'm going to copy to copy to can take one information just the destination two information destination and option three information destination and option and um, transpose yes true or false here we have only one information please go to the details and paste it in another range now i need to give it a row number and a column number in, in this case just to try it it will be row number three column number one so three one yeah it's correct correct three one okay but if i run the code it will write in the same place three one next time I need to write, if I have been draw one more time, I cannot see the new uh, bill number. And I have the amount here in the same. So if I, if I have a new bill, new invoice, it will override the old one. I cannot see the new information. Uh, so we we need to instead of three here i need to move to the last range so let let me stop this code for a while now i have the new bill number i need to start after it so i need to start after the last row uh, so instead of three here i need to go to the last row plus one by the way you can uh, use control backslash to uh, remove the command anyway i'm going to create a variable this variable will refer to the last row in my details so i go to details get last row then plus one so if the last row is five, it will start from six. I will take this variable as a start point here. Now the code is supposed to take the bill number and the details. Let's add a new invoice. Any. 400 let's add some um, if I click here invoice summary is here and I have the details blue the last one as you can see now the last step how to clear the invoice so I go back to the code 
I need to clear uh, the bell number. So invoice dot get the range. The number is in G4. Dot clear content. And I have to do the same with C4 also. So control C, control V. I, I don't need to clear the total, by the way. Total is a function. And I need to do also with the invoice details control c control v and make sure you use clear content not clear because you want to keep the format now i can close the code i go to the invoice if i click here content is cleared summary is created detailed is covered a copy of the code will be available in the video description thank you